Good morning, Snapchat. <laughs> Good morning. Sometimes, what is that? <laughs> so we're about to head to the market, and just before we do, we're going to have some oatmeal and mango, and then we'll finish off the rest when we get back. And needless to say, we've already been to the hydration station this morning. You know the drill. Today's market haul, cucumbers, carrots, eggplants, bell peppers, Chinese cabbage or wombok, mulberries, mushrooms, rice, and a truckload of mangoes. Look at that. And sorry, we didn't show you guys anything at the market today. We ran out of data yesterday, so we need to go and top up. Time for second breakfast. We're going to eat these mulberries with our usual oatmeal and mango. Less oatmeal because we've got so much fruit, but this looks great. Today we've got Thai Hill Tribe brown rice with mushrooms, red and yellow bell peppers and carrots that have been steamed. We're going to sprinkle some golden ground flax meal and soy sauce and lettuce. And there's my doggy bowl there. How have we spent the morning? Cleaning. Can you see the sparkling fall? Just doing some house chores and washing and we'll make a video this afternoon. Mm. Scanning my face. All right, so just finished recording a video and I wanted to share something with you ladies. So guys, this is Girl Talk Time. If you don't want to hear it, go and do it. So we're talking periods. Now, I used to suffer incredibly with painful periods for years, since an early teen all the way, all the way to about 21. And then I had to go on the contraceptive pill to control the pain. I would be like, ugh, on the ground in agony crying. I had a hormonal imbalance. They thought I had endometriosis, but I didn't. I would often be vomiting from pain. I'd have diarrhea. I would be fainting, couldn't move. During my teens, I would have so much time out of school because I was so sick with my periods and it was really heavy flow. I would have to wear two pads. And the day one and almost day two of getting my period, I would be bedridden, but I couldn't lay down because I would spill everywhere and literally screaming in pain. My flow was very heavy and I would clot a lot and that's where all the cramps were coming from and I used to have tests and doctors and naturopaths and pills and blah 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 blah. Basically my periods ruled my life, they made me miserable, I hated it and it was the most agonizing traumatic experience I could explain. So I was on the pill for 10 years and then I decided to get off the pill and see what my periods would do. I was vegan at the time but I was eating more high fat. Now my periods were really good at that point, that was great compared to what it used to be, but now these days, totally different story, it's fantastic. So I got my period yesterday late afternoon, almost evening, just before we headed out for dinner. I actually thought I was due in another week's time, because leading up to yesterday, my body felt so fantastic, it didn't feel like I was getting my period, I thought, oh I've got another week to go, and I just felt a little bit a little bit sore and tired about two hours before I got my period but then we went out to dinner got home and I was completely fine and I slept so well no pain and today is a full day one of my period absolutely fine so basically I've gone from 100% agony to about 5% discomfort my periods are light there's hardly any clotting like really almost never tomorrow I'm gonna cycle up the mountain it's like I have a new body even though I'm getting older and I was just on such a high this morning waking up. I'm like, my body feels completely fine. It's like I don't even have anything going on inside. It's just a mess. And it can vary from month to month. Some months I do have more pain and I need to have a nap. I get really tired on day one. But today was just incredible. But I never have to take medication. It never gets that bad. It's just some little cramps. I might need to take a nap. That's it. Now, the cleaner I eat and the more exercise I do, the better I find my periods are. So it's, I've been really consistent this last month, as you can probably see, and I've reaped the, the results, the benefits today. I do find that stress can make my periods worse. So it's a cumulative total of this lifestyle, getting to bed early, eating clean, exercise, and low stress. So girls and ladies, if you are suffering from period pain, there is light at the end of this tunnel because if I could get through what I experienced, you can too. And all the experts that I used to see and all the drugs they used to put me on and the tests that they would do, they never told me to change my diet. 
I remember at one stage my pain was so bad it was like I was giving birth it's like I was having contractions I was screaming and sweating and look at me today. my hormones were just screwed they were so out of whack but I was eating hormones from animals so you've got to go vegan and for the best results go high carb low fat vegan get the oil out processed food all that crap and junk out and move your body easy all right, so I hope this talk has helped. I hope this information has helped you. Don't stress out if you're in a world of pain. You can choose again, make better choices and take control. All right, guys, all the fellas out there, period talk is finished, period. Haha, <laughs> get it? You can come back to Snapchat. This is a safe guy zone. Alberto's cooking up a yummy dinner, potatoes, regular white and Japanese sweet with some lettuce. Pump, pump the tires, pump them up. My, your feet are stomping. <laughs> Is that the line? I don't know, it's been too long. Good night, Snapchat. Whoa. Good night, Snapchat. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow.